Let's take a look at the Facility Provider Locator tool first. We click here in the middle of the screen, Locate a Facility or Provider. Although, as I mentioned, you can also access this tool on the top right red button that says Locate. We click this button on the next screen, select Search by Facility Type Location. On the next screen, we can see a drop-down menu, and this menu is the one place on Florida Health Finder where you can see a complete list of all of the licenses offered by the agency. This is the only place where you can find a complete list of licenses, and that is one reason why this tool is so popular. We can also see additional filters, such as searching for an open versus a closed license. We can search by name, street address, city, zip, county, ACA number or field office, license number, affiliated individual or entity. This means the name of a person. You can search by name to find licenses on which that name appears, profit status, and emergency actions. If we select a license type in the first drop-down menu, for example, hospital, the advanced search features will change. So advanced search features you can access on this dark bar. There is a little gray triangle at the end of it, and if you click that, the advanced search options for hospitals will appear. And so now we can see additional filters, such as searching for a hospital with a bankruptcy on file, searching by bed type, or by emergency department or services, searching for specifics, such as a hospital with an off-site emergency department or outpatient surgery center. We can also search for features such as hospitals that have organ transplant programs for adult or pediatric. Additional programs such as burn units and stroke centers. We can search for special designations such as a statutory teaching hospital, special services, and trauma center. Really a lot of great filters here that you can drill down on your search with. And if we change our facility type in the first menu from hospital, for example, to a nursing home, Notice that those advanced search options changed as well. Now we can look for a nursing home, for example, that has adult daycare services or is a continuing care retirement community. Again, we can search by bed type. We can look for gold seal award recipients, and I'll explain what that means in just a moment. We can search for languages spoken, license status, we can look for payment forms, for example, if you are looking for a nursing home that accepts VA benefits, you can select that here. Religious affiliations and other special programs and services such as an Alzheimer's secured unit or dialysis. And so let's run a search for nursing homes. Let's look in Orlando. We'll put that in the box for city. And we will leave all of the rest of our features unchecked and just click Search. And so on our results page with the Facility Provider Locator, this is what we'll see. In the first column, the names of the nursing homes in Orlando, and these are listed alphabetically. The next column, Type, this refers to the type of license, and since we did select nursing home, that's the only result that we'll see here. The next step is street address and then city, state, zip, phone number, and then the number of licensed beds. Now we have several ways that we can proceed. And the first is to simply print our results page using the embedded print button. Or we can export these results to Excel if you are on a computer with Excel. And so I will click this embedded export button and I'll show you what that does. If we click to open this file, we pull that over. Now we can see a lot more information has populated automatically in this Excel spreadsheet. We can see answers to many of the filters on the first screen, such as the ACA number, ACA license number, 
the ACA license effective date and the expiration date. This is a very handy feature if, for example, you are an administrator responsible for maintaining the renewals on multiple licenses. This is a way that you can quickly generate a search of all expiration dates for your facilities and save that. So that's one way that you can use this export to Excel function, which is really cool. And on our other columns, again, name, street address, lots of information here, contact information, information about the owners of this facility, about their license status. We can even see the name of the administrator or CEO here. We can see how long this entity has owned this facility. There's even a link to their web address. So a lot of information will export with that Excel feature. The third option that we have is to click the name of any of these providers. All of the names are hyperlinks. And so if I click the very first one, Advent Healthcare Center, this will take us to this facility's profile page. Now, the profile pages on Florida Health Finder are another very popular feature. All of the providers licensed by ACA have a profile page on Florida Health Finder. And the information that you see on a profile page is updated every single night. So this is the most up-to-date information that you can typically find for the providers licensed by ACA. And that information includes detailed directions and maps, street and mailing address, a link to their website, administrative information in the upper right. We can click this expanding menu and see a name list of all of the owners and the percent of ownership for each individual. We can see license information, for example, the effective and expiration date for this provider, the number and the types of beds. Then we can see answers to some of the filters earlier. We can see whether this is a continuing care retirement community. We can see what languages are spoken, what payment forms are accepted. We can see the current daily rate for a semi-private room with the nursing home search. And then the emergency power plan summary, that is listed here as well for long-term providers on their profile page. Then there are two other features on a profile page that are really neat that I think you should know about. And the first is, as you can see at the bottom, legal actions. These are links to any cases between ACA and this provider. And these case numbers are all clickable. So if I click the first case, this will take us to our agency's main website, and that's ACA.MyFlorida.com. And this is where legal actions are housed online. You can click the blue Select button and view a scanned copy of a final order of this legal action. Just like that, with just a few clicks, anyone can come to Florida Health Finder and visit a provider's profile page and quickly access this information. You do not need a login. You do not need to have an account. This information is available to anyone on our website. Additionally, Inspection reports, right here in the middle of the profile page where it says ACA reports. If you click inspection reports, this will also take you to our main agency website, aca.myflorida.com. And here we can see seven pages of inspection reports just for this one provider. All of these reports are clickable, again, by clicking the blue select button we will see a scanned copy of that report, just like that, just with minimal clicks. Anyone can visit a profile page and again, look at those ACA reports and click to see inspection reports. So if you did not know that this information was out there, now you know where to find it, on Florida Health Finder, on a provider's profile page. It's easy to return to the home page at any time on Florida Health Finder if you need to. Just click the red floridahealthfinder.gov logo at the top of the page.